Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Wagon's math class again. Today we will discuss the last way to transform a figure in a coordinate plane. If you remember, transformation is the umbrella, and under it are the different ways to transform a figure in a coordinate plane. The first one is translation, which means sliding. The second one, reflection, which means flip. And the third one, rotation, which means a turn. The last one is dilation, which we will be discussing today. When we talk about dilation, I want you to think about your eyes. When you go in the sun and it's too sunny outside, what happens to your eye? The pupil of your eye will shrink, will be smaller, allowing less light into your pupil for you to see. This way you're not bothered. But what happened in the dark? What, happen, what happens to your eyes when there isn't enough light? The pupil will enlarge for you to allow more of the sunlight goes into your eyes so you can see better. And that's the same thing when you go to the doctor, they say they dilate your eyes to see what's inside. So what is a dilation? Dilation is a transformation in which a figure is made larger or smaller with respect of a point called the center of dilation. Look at this blue triangle. And the red triangle that I shrunk or made it smaller. If I connect each vertex or corresponding vertex, all three of them will meet at one point. So how can we dilate a figure in a coordinate plane? To dilate a figure with respect of the origin, which means the origin is the center of dilation. Multiply each vertex by a scale factor, which known as k. The algebra rule, the original vertex or point or coordinate is x and y. When you dilate, the image is to multiply each x by the scale factor and each y by the scale factor. When the scale factor is more than 1, the dilation will be an enlargement, which means making the figure bigger. When the scale factor is less than 1, then the dilation is a reduction, which means making the image smaller. Since we multiply in each vertex by the same number, and since the original is getting bigger or smaller, that means the original and the image are similar, not congruent, because they have the same shape but not the same size. So dilation proves similarity. And if I also prove that the shape changed by a scale factor, then they are similar. Now let's practice on the whiteboard how to dilate a figure in a coordinate plane and figure out the scale factor from dilated figures. Now let's dilate this figure w, x, y, and z in the coordinate plane with dilation of k equals 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means half. So the scale factor is half which means a reduction because it's less than one. The coordinates of the original are right here, and the dilation by half, that means I need half of each coordinate. So take the scale factor, 0 0.5, and multiply it by the x, and 0 0.5 times the negative 6. 0 0.5 times negative 4 is negative 2, 0.5 times negative 6 is negative 3, and that's the W prime. X is negative 4, 8. Multiply each one by half. So half times negative 4, and half times 8. Half times negative 4, which means half of negative 4 is negative 2. Half times 8 is 4. Now, Y is 4 and 8. Multiply the scale factor 0.5 times 4, and the scale factor is 0 0.5 times 8. 0 0.5 times 4 is 2, 0 0.5 times 8 is 4. Now 4 and negative 6, multiply the scale factor by x, so multiply it by 4, and multiply it by the y, which is negative 6. 0 0.5 times 4 is 2, 0 0.5 times negative 6 is negative 3. Now plot them. 
W is negative 2 and negative 3. That is negative 2 and negative 3. And this will be the W prime. Negative 2, 4 for x. Negative 2 and 4. And this is the x prime. Y is 2, 4. Walk to 2, go up to 4. And that's 1 prime. Z prime is 2, negative 3. Here is 2, go down to negative 3. And that is the Z prime. So the new image is half the original one. Each side is half of the original. Also, from the center of dilation, the distance to the original and the distance to the image also goes with the scale factor. So the original, you need to cut it in half, gives you the distance to the image. And watch how every vertex connect with the center of dilation, which is the origin. Now, how can we find the scale factor in what kind of dilation it is? Looking at the graph. The blue figure is a dilation of the red figure, which means the blue figure is the image. And the red figure is the original. Identify the type of dilation, so is it reduction or enlargement? And find the scale factor, which is k. To find the scale factor, k equals the side length of the image divided by the side length of the original. Now let's see, k equals side length of the image, choose one side, one, two, three, four, five, six, a, b. So a, b prime is six, a, b original is one, two, three. So six divided by three is two, so k equals two which means it's an enlargement. Now let's look at the second one. Remember the blue one is the image from red to blue. The side length of the image is, let's say, yz prime, one, two. So k equals two divided by, and the corresponding side of the original, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 divided by 8 is 1 fourth. So k equals 1 fourth or 0 0.25. And that means it's a reduction because k is less than 1. Okay. Now the last one. K is the scale factor. I need the side length of the image. And the image has the prime which is the j, k prime. Now let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. So 7.5. And the corresponding side, j, k. One, two, three, four, and five. So k equals 1.5. So the scale factor is 1.5, which means it's an enlarged amount. And that's how you know what kind of dilation it is. And how do you find the scale factor? If you can prove it's a dilation, then they are similar. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.